Earth is made up of mostly water, and considering we've only discovered 5% of the water on Earth, you know there's got to be some terrifying creatures, especially at the bottom of the Mariana Trench. Hey everyone, it's Top 10 Scary Urban Legends, and today we are talking about the Top 10 Mariana Trench Scariest Creatures. I'm your host, Michaela, so let's jump into it. Starting off this countdown at number 10, the Meg. Researchers have pinned the date of the Megalodon's extinction to about 2.6 million years ago, roughly when the Great White Shark was just becoming established. However, a doctor pointed out that the Megalodon likely lived in water no more than 200 meters deep, in and around coastal areas. We would, she says, have noticed something of the Megalodon's size if it was swimming off our shores, but what if that's not where it's living? Explorers began to probe the Mariana Trench in the late 1800s using rudimentary equipment, but it was impossible to get the full picture of the trench without sending someone down. That's only happened once in history. In 1960, a researcher and US Navy lieutenant took a Navy submarine into the depths. Due to the pressure, they couldn't stay very long. But when they turned on the submarine's floodlights, they were shocked to see fish. Until then, it was thought that no creature could live in such a harsh environment. So who's to say the Meg couldn't live down there? Over the years, reports of Megalodon sightings have emerged all over the internet. A lot of them claim that these giant sharks never went extinct. That they've just been hiding in the deepest part of the ocean the Mariana Trench. Now at number nine, New Whale. In 2016, marine biologists studying the Mariana Trench heard a strange sound of unknown origin and started recording. Although the recording is only a few seconds long, experts detected a slightly metallic quality to it, and many speculated that the noise was not natural. After months of analysis, however, the scientists believed they found the source of the noise. It's currently theorized that the sound, which marine biologists call a biotwang, is the low frequency call of a new type of baleen whale. However, that's just one theory. Others say it's still a whale, however, it's got shark-like teeth and has mutated into something unimaginable. Here at number eight, sea devil anglerfish. If a fish has the word devil in its name, it's a safe bet that it's going to be freaky and sea devil anglerfish does not disappoint. It features a whole list of interesting, strange characteristics. As its name strongly hints, this is a fish that would have swum up straight from hell with its weird body, razor-like teeth, and cold death stare. Although they're bizarre and scary looking, at least they're not huge. Females generally top out at 8 inches long and the males are much smaller, at maybe an inch long or so. As an anglerfish, the sea devil doesn't dart after its prey. Instead, it has a protrusion from its forehead that dangles a glowing lure to attract unlucky animals. With its huge gaping jaws, the sea devil can actually devour creatures larger than itself. We believe that this is the first video footage ever made of this species alive and at death. The eyes of this angler are quite small. In their dark habitat, anglerfish rely more on feeling the movements of other animals in the water around them than on vision. The tiny pale dots you see along the sides of the fish and on its head are organs very sensitive to the slightest movements, and they function very effectively. Now coming in at number seven, goblin shark. The goblin shark is a rare species of shark. Its unusual and creepy appearance is often described as fossil-like. It has pink-toned skin and a distinctive snout shape. It is elongated and flat with a protruding jaw and skinny, incredibly sharp teeth. They can grow to be about 10 to 13 feet in length and they are rarely seen by human beings. It's still unclear what the unusual snout is for, but the older they get, the deeper they dive. Most goblin sharks are 10 to 12 feet long, but they can grow much bigger. Here at number six, Telescope Octopus. The Telescope Octopus is a transparent eight-armed octopus that is almost entirely colorless. Their arms are the same size and they are the only octopus to have tubular eyes. It is incredibly unusual to observe and was originally documented by Dr. William Evans in 1885. The octopus is a rare species, meaning there is little that scientists and the general public know about the marine creature, but it's believed to be a close relative of the glass octopus. These eyes provide a wider peripheral vision so that the octopus can see predators and prey alike. Those eyes can also rotate. Talk about scary. Halfway at number five, fang tooth fish. These fish could be straight out of a horror movie and are named after their scary teeth that in relation to their body size are the largest in the ocean. Special pouches on the roof of its mouth prevent the teeth from piercing the fish's brain when its mouth is closed. Fang tooth fish do not have good eyesight and they are believed to hunt by literally bumping into their prey, sensing vibrations and movement in the water. Now at number four, deep sea hatchet fish. There are a lot of odd looking fish in the sea, but not many of them resemble humans' hand tools. The deep 
deep sea hatchet fish resembles a silvery swimming hatchet. There are more than 40 species of hatchet fish. All of them have ridiculously skinny bodies and many of them have shiny scales too, which adds to the metallic hatchet like appearance. They are small fish and even the biggest types to grow only to about 6 inches long. Their delicate looks contradict their serious ruggedness because these fish are found in depths pushing nearly 5,000 feet. Hatchet fish have bioluminescent bodies and they can alter the brightness of their glow depending on how much light is filtering from above. In doing so, they are counter illuminating their bodies in a clever camouflage technique. Their dim, self-produced light reduces their silhouettes, making it much more difficult for predators to spot them from below. Now at number 3, comb jellyfish. The comb jelly is a beautiful oval-shaped animal with 8 rows of tiny comb-like plates that it beats to move itself through the water. As it swims, the comb rows break up light to produce a shimmering rainbow effect. Comb jellies are gelatinous creatures with luminous body structures as they diffract any light that falls upon them. They use their comb-like plates to move around in the water. While they please the eyesight, these underwater marvels are vicious predators, even attacking their own kind sometimes. Some may be as tiny as a few millimeters, ranging up to nearly 5 feet long. Found around 3,000 feet down are the cone jellies. That's light refracting off thousands. Here at number two, frilled shark. The frilled shark was discovered in the 19th century by a German who studies fish. It is often referred to as a living fossil due to its eerie appearance and the shape of its mouth. The shark has an eel-like body that's dark brown and gray in color and the articulation of the jaws to the head. The shark derives its name from six rows of frilly gills that grace its body, which grows up to six feet long. Just as notably, the shark wields more than 20 rows of wicked, trident-shaped teeth that will tear into any bit of flesh that passes near them. Frilled sharks probably spend most of their lives near the ocean's bottom, and they like waters more than 4,000 feet deep. On the rare occasions that people snag them and bring them up to the surface, the sharks almost always perish immediately, making it very difficult for people to observe their behavior and life cycles. For years, many people assumed that frilled sharks swam and hunted like eels. Now coming in at number one, zombie worms. Now I know you're thinking, oh, well, how can a worm be scary? Well, let me tell you. Zombie worms are also known as osidox. The word osidox means bone eater in Latin and refers to the worm's ability to dig into and eat bones from whale carcasses. They do so in an attempt to reach lipids enclosed in the bone. They use special root tissues for bone boring. So if you ever come near one of these things, I suggest getting as far away as possible. And that was the top 10 Mariana Trench scariest creatures. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.